everyone, this is Professor Hall, and this is just a quick video to walk you through how to use MindEdge. I think that the videos that are provided um, are good, but they don't actually show on a screen how it looks from a student perspective. So I just wanted to give you a little bit extra help. So I'm going to click into our class. And there I am, my smiling face, <laughs> and the announcement, if you haven't seen it already, introducing myself and giving you guys my contact information. So there's a couple different ways to access MindEdge. What I'm in right now is what's called a learning management system. That's where all of your courses will be, right? You can find those by going to the home. Um, once you're in the courses, you have the course menu with announcements, all of our learning modules, and if you want to jump right to discussions or assignments or just see your grades, you can do that. Um, but some of our readings and a few of our assignments are going to be in a different system called MindEdge. So I'm going to click on learning modules to show you what that looks like. And it brings me right to module four because that's what I was looking at before I started this video. So. Um, if you looked at the start here to start off our course, you'll notice that it has some things about MindEdge and it tells you that some of your assignments, there we go, here's how you learn how to move between Brightspace and MindEdge. And there's a little link in a, in a video there. But I just wanted to show you um, the link for MindEdge is right here but you don't actually click back to this link once you're registered. And I'm not sure if the video was kind of clear on that. So the registration is very easy. MindEdge is essentially an online textbook where you can um, read information, get some short videos to supplement what you're reading. Um, you'll find the assigned readings in there that your papers will be based on. And then a couple quizzes and a few other assignments will be kind of embedded right in there. It's really nice. There's practice exercises. Um, to me, it's a lot nicer than just having a textbook because it's a lot more interactive. So instead of getting a book, you'll get the access code from the bookstore. And once you have that, you'll click here on Mind Edge Registration. You'll put in the code, you click Apply, and then you click Enroll for our course. If you're not sure if you did it correctly, you can go back and click on that link for Mind Edge Registration, and it'll say, Welcome, you have successfully purchased your code. So if you're not sure if it went through correctly, you can always do that. Um, the other tool to double check is if you're if it doesn't give you that and the access code isn't working then you can call the technology help desk there's technical support available 24 hours a day seven days a week so you can always get help from them so let's see what mind edge actually looks like i'm gonna click here on module three okay you'll notice here on module three applying analysis has an external learning tool and then this assignment um, you'll be completing in Brightspace, but it will actually tell you the, um, the rubric, which is the grading tool, and also the directions for the assignment will be here in MindEdge. So let's take a look at it. You can get to MindEdge by clicking here, and a new tab opens up automatically. I don't think that this is kind of clear in the other video. It looks like maybe you have to open a new tab. The only thing I will say is that this did not work for me until I turned off all three of my pop-up blockers. So if you have pop-up blockers on your computer, just make sure that you make um, Brightspace a safe site and allow this pop-up to happen. So here is the module. You can download it as a PDF if you want to have a hard copy and if that's easier for you to read. And then you just kind of click through each little part of this. Um, up here gives you all the parts for this module, one, two, and three. Um, you'll notice part of it looks kind of like a textbook, right? And then here's what I said about um, having a, a video in there. Um, there's things where I can read a little bit more. Later on, there's some practice exercises. There's a quiz. I'm going to click to the next. 
So here's the assignment and you'll notice the directions for the assignment, all the things to read for it are right here. The writing prompt, what they want you to do, what we're asking you to do, and then here's how I'll be grading you. So this is a rubric. Um, I'm looking for the author's claim, the author's key points, the audience, the connection to the audience, evaluation of the claim, and then how well you made your response. And I'll be giving you feedback in all of those areas, kind of explaining how you got the grade that you got. But you'll notice at the bottom here, you don't actually submit the, the writing plan in MindEdge. You'll be going back over here, clicking forward, and then submitting that plan right here in Brightspace. Now, I'm gonna close MindEdge out, and I'll show you the other way to get into it. The other way to get into it, besides just clicking directly on that link in the module, is using these forward and backward buttons. So right now, I'm in the assignment where you'll be submitting that writing plan during week three, but if I click backward, it automatically opens MindEdge in a new tab. So it's pretty convenient and you'll notice too, let me click forward a couple times here and get into module four. And then module four opened up automatically for me as well. And it's set up the exact same way. It tells you what you're gonna be learning, allows you to download it. And then when you click next, it goes into the description. Um, sometimes there's links that you'll need to go to. Sometimes there's some practice exercises. Um, some pictures, here we go, little, little practice exercise, and it tells you whether or not um, whether or not those are graded. So some, sometimes you'll have practice and sometimes you'll have a quiz in there, but that's basically how you navigate it. It's user-friendly. You can also click previous and next up here. You can also use, <laughs> you can also use the drop-down and go to whatever part um, you left off on, or if you just wanna look ahead and see what's next in the module, what's coming up, you can do that too. So that's it. Um, I hope that this was helpful, and I hope that you learned <laughs> a little bit about how to use MindEdge.